Hey, Basic here. Today we're looking at the Kaiser Microlith. If you're not familiar with Kaiser, that's okay. They're a relatively new company out of China, found in 2012. And they've already made a name for themselves with some pretty high-end knives while also maintaining that import price range. So we're looking at a titanium scale, front and back, as well as a one-piece machined titanium clip. It cannot be moved, so single location carry only. The blade is made out of S35VN, which is uh, pretty typical for knives in that $100 to $200 price range. However, this knife is a bit on the smaller side. Let's look at the dimensions real quick. Total length, you're looking at right at six inches and the blade by itself is two and a half. So if you're in a location that has uh, regulated blade sizes, usually it's less than three inches, this will fit the bill. For comparison's sake, I like to compare most knives to my uh, Para 3 Spyderco. You can see this is significantly larger. So if you have, um, maybe you're in a professional setting, you want something to be a little less aggressive looking, this might fit that kind of office carry or discreet carry profile you're looking for. It's a decent size. I have probably medium to small hands and I can get a good three fingers on it. My pinky does fall off the end and there's no choke up spot. This is a little too small to get your finger around. So it really is just a, a three finger knife. Um, you can open it two different ways. There is a flipper on the back and there's also the thumb hole if you wanna open it a little more slowly or carefully. It's a liner lock. There's a liner on only one side. It's a stainless steel liner. Pretty easy to open and close. Um, packaging. The packaging was actually pretty nice on this. Let me grab that and show you. Here is the box that it came in. Opens, you have a little uh, manual, I guess. There's some documentation in here, instructions. And then it has a little carrying pouch. I wouldn't actually carry the knife in the pouch because it's massive. But it's a nice little Velcro pouch that you could, I guess if you're uh, keeping it more as a collector's item, you could store it in there. Weight wise, again, this is a full metal knife, titanium scales, and obviously the blade's metal as well. So you don't have the lightness of G10, like something like this. So let's look at the weight on this. It's a food scale, but it works just fine. All right, you're looking at 77 grams or 2.7 ounces. For comparison's sake, this is a little shy of three and a half. And this is actually very light because it is a G10 scale and it is um, it's pretty light. Uh, a similar kind of EDC to, to this one would be this Spyderco here. Weight wise, this one is at three ounces even. Again, this one you're looking at 2.7. So it is a fair bit lighter than an all steel knife of the same size because of that titanium. My only critique on this knife is probably how smooth the scales are. Again, if you're wanting something that's, I don't know, a little more professional, a little less aggressive, this is great. But if you actually want to put this knife to work, really chop up boxes or go camping, this probably isn't the right knife for you because I do find that the scales are a bit on the slippery side. When you're really trying to get at it, it the grip just isn't there. This is more of a opening letters kind of knife, the occasional tough task, but I'd grab something a little larger if I was looking for a, a real work knife. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and have a great day.